last time i think in my last video i was selling them so let me test it And they start as roots as you can see here you can easily see you can easily say that these are roots but actually guys these are not roots these are cassava hi guys so how are you doing i hope you are well for me here it has been a nice day and uh we appreciate you know so today i want you to come with me so that uh, we can get some vegetable in my brother's uh, kitchen garden here. You know, we must find something to eat. So, this is the kitchen garden, actually. Though you might be surprised which kind of a kitchen garden is this. You know, here we mix up things, guys. We do mix up things. We don't want to get loose. You know. As you can see here, this is a, some maize, these are some, some beans, this is a kale, which we call it a skumawiki. This is another vegetable, I don't remember well how it is called in English. Let me show you, I want to show you the, all the type of vegetable that is found in this kitchen garden. This is another one. If you are not keen, this one seems to be similar. I want to show you. This one looks similar with this one. But uh, the difference is the leaf. You can see this leaf is bigger than this. You know, this one is somehow tiny. And uh, for this plant, it has uh, some broad leaves. I think you can see. You know. So let us go to this end here and find if there is another vegetable. Oh, this one I've shown you. Another one is this one. Let me show you. This one here. This one, guys. So if you will be keen enough as well, this one seems to be similar with this one. The only difference is the size of the leaves and size of the flutes. You can see the size of the flutes of this one, somehow smaller, and this one is somehow bigger. <laughs> yeah, so <coughs> let's move to the other end. We confirm if. Uh, there is another one. No. I think they are over. No, there is another one here. So actually, guys, this is okra. You know, here we have different types of okra. Actually, I think they are three types. So for this type of okra, you don't have to plant them. They normally germinate by themselves. You can see. Like this one, it was not planted here. You know, so it's like a weed. But the other two type of okra, okay, they can germinate by themselves, but it is not easy, guys. But uh, the other one that I was showing you here, you can uh, easily find it germinating by itself. Let's confirm uh, at the far end here if there is another type of vegetable. No? You can see there is uh, only carrots. You know. So this is the boundary of our farm. You can see this fence over here. So the other part is someone's farm, you know. So in this side here, we have some cassava. 
they are somehow many you can see from these are uh, this place here to the far end there where you are seeing some napier grass you know so for this one i think they have already they are already the nini manufactured so you can use them if you want i want to show you the size of uh, one cassava that we are having here i hope you are able to see me clearly let me show you the size of the cassava that i can comfortably say that they are ready to be used This one can act as a planting material as well. You know, after sweet potato, this is a, the second cheapest plant that uh, you can have in your farm. Because this one as well, they don't require fertilizer. What you need to do is you make some lime. Like, uh, you can choose just a place like this one, you know, and then you do something. I think this one is big. You cut just a sizable and then you do something like this so after some time you will find that uh, this far end here sorry it has some soil it will start uh, to have some roots which are protruding you know now you give it time and then it will grow big up to this one you are seeing here so this plant you are seeing here or maybe all other plants around here they started like this these are the, the thing that we used for them to reach at this level and for them to be okay to be consumed it takes up to one year you know up to one year you can go comfortably consume it you know and we have many types Last time, I think in my last video, I was selling them. I think you saw. So for us here, this one has a more than two years. We don't use it since we have some maize. So, but soon I think we will start using it. So, you can see my people. This one are the one that is used to make brown ugali. So this size, this is more than enough. So one plant, it can have even seven cassavas, like you are seeing. They just attach them on one uh, stem. And they start as roots. As you can see here, you can easily see, you can easily say that these are roots. But actually guys, these are not roots. These are cassavas. So... For these big ones that you are seeing here, they started from here. They started as roots and then they proceeded to that uh, kind of uh, things you are seeing here. So, and remember guys, they don't, ne they need nothing. They don't need things like, uh, I don't know. I don't know, buying planting material, you can just uh, look for someone who has has it and then you can ask them, they give it for free. Fertilizer, no. You know, the only problem is they take long time. You know. So like this part here, we mixed both uh, maize and cassava. The far end there with the vegetable, we mixed beans with maize. So, no wastage, guys. Many crops at the time. It is somehow big. So, like here, when we can start uh, to harvest all of them, we can uh, harvest up to, up to uh, around uh, 20 sacks, guys. You know. And the price here of cassava, it goes, ha cassava, it goes hand in hand with the, uh, maize actually you know just a slight different 
So, other cassava which have uh, manufactured actually are in this side. So actually when you you will uh, be keen enough, this one they are of different types with the other one you are seeing there. The other ones are tall and this one you can see they are just short. Short, short I mean, sorry. You can see for this one is not that big but uh, they are already in case you want to consume them guys you can consume them as well when they are raw let me show you I wanna show you let us test it together to prove whatever I'm talking about there are a lot of uh, that just here they might easily attach to my cup Let me choose this one. I don't have to eat a lot. Since uh, yesterday night I used to eat potato. So I just uh, remove the outer cover. Let me first uh, remove this soil here. So here I'm uh, removing the outer cover. You can boil them, you know. They are uh, same uh, with uh, sweet potatoes. You can use these uh, cassavas to make uh, different things. Some of them use it even to make chips, you know, in town there and then they sell. But here in the village, you just uh, remove the outer cover, you cut it into small pieces and then you have some water in a cooking pot, you add some salt, and then uh, you light your fire, you leave it for some time, and then it will be ready for consumption. As simple as such. Some of them go ahead and use uh, cooking oil to fly. I was watching such like video last time. So you can see my people, how it is white. So let me test it. So yummy guys, you know, it is so yummy. So here in the village there is a lot of food for you to stay hungry. It is just your decision, you know, just your decision. So anyway, let us do what brought us here. I don't know which vegetable I'll choose. But anyway, let me have some kelts because they are somehow cheap to cook. I'm trying to balance uh, my homemade selfie stick here to make sure that uh, it is stable enough. Yes, guys, so let me take my container actually. This is my container, somehow big, <laughs> but it's okay. I put it here and then I start harvesting this um, vegetable here. Hope you can see the way we harvest. Let me show you. These uh, fell plants here, they don't look healthy. Since they are now getting old, you know, we planted it la. I think it is uh, the last five months. So you can see they are now tired. So I hope you can see how we harvest 
the case here. You don't have just to harvest all the leaves because there is tomorrow. You know, you can choose to harvest two like this and then you leave the rest. And then it, at this plant here, two, you know, choose another plant like this. yes guys so finally i'm done uh, harvesting my vegetables so i want to go back home though it is somehow it's quite earlier because this vegetable will be using a uh, eat for supper you can look at the sky it seems like uh, it, it's gonna start to rain soon you know so these are the vegetables you can see. So, I want actually to go home. And then, uh, you know, here, here, especially in my home, you can't just start to fry things like uh, most of vegetables without boiling them. You know, you must uh, boil them. After boiling, now you will have to fry them. You know, so... That one means that it will take a lot of uh, time somehow. And then, beside that, I'll have to go and uh, look for firewoods. I have them at my home there, but I think they will not be enough to cook ugali and this vegetable. So, I must go and look for extra, you know. So, otherwise, at this moment, let me say bye, guys. And thank you for watching. I should meet you next time.